All right, guys, so I'm out here in my 1992 Dodge D250 Cummins Turbo Diesel that I recently purchased and had a bad transmission in it. We've got that taken care of, but the other problem that I've ran into now is the fact that the speedometer doesn't work and the gear indicator doesn't work either. With the speedometer and the gear indicator not working, it's impossible to know how fast you're going and if you wanted to manually shift the automatic, you don't know if you're in first, second, drive, or run the risk of pushing it over to neutral or, or worse, into reverse. So I changed the speedometer cable sensor on the side of the transmission when we did the new transmission. Still didn't take care of it. And I've done all the little tricks that I know of that I've been reading about on the internet. But my transmission guy said there's an ABS sensor on the back of the well not on the back but in the very top center of the rear end so we've got that today that's what we're going to try to put in and see if that takes care of this problem because right now i don't know what else it could be but he says that's what it's likely going to be i have had one rear tire locking up a little bit lately so maybe the sensor is bad it's not the easiest to change, but let's get back there and actually change that sensor out and see what happens next. All right, so I've got myself up underneath the truck. I, I don't want to raise the truck up. Most of your diesels are going to set up anyway a little bit. So I started off by crawling underneath on the driver's side and realized really fast that there was a big fuel tank there. So I'm over here on the passenger side crawling up underneath the truck and let me show you guys what I'm looking at and what I'm working on. All right, so this right here is what I'm being told is the ABS sensor. It's on the rear differential. It's got some kind of metal cover on it and a connection here. The guy told me uh, be prepared for whenever I take this out that it's probably going to fall apart and break apart like you're already seeing. I think this is going to be a half inch nut or something over here on the back. So let's try to get up here. It is a half inch. It fits on there pretty good. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know if I'm taking the right thing off or not, but I am taking it off. All right. Okay, bolt. What did that do for things? Hey, look at that. Okay. All right. All right. Check that out. It's going to come off as a entire bracket and of course the, uh, wiring is attached to it so we're going to have to take that off as well not sure how that comes off oh there we go just i kind of pried it open a little bit and there's that whole uh, bracket that just came off but this is what it's going to look like with the uh, cover off of it and now we should i said should be able to pinch this in oh look at that okay it's going to turn and hopefully maybe a good idea to wipe all the junk off around it you can see that tab on the front that actually bolts in all right I'll rotate that around and just kind of work as much of that junk off as I can i don't want it going down in the rear end itself all right let's see looks like the connector comes up and latches in like right here yep there's one side of it and there's going to be the other side no telling how long this thing has been on there's one side open there's the other side let's see if we can there we go hey we got it off and it doesn't look like it tore up or anything let's hope it's the same style of what i just uh, bought so now how do you get this out it should oh well there we go that was easy enough hey it's got differential fluid in it so pretty straightforward and from here just uh gonna grab the new one probably wipe it off a little bit and then we're gonna oh yeah put it down in the hole just it went right down in the hole you guys see that that went in pretty good so we'll plug it back in connect the wire and uh, put the little cover back on it to protect it and 
Uh, just we'll see if that actually uh, takes care of the problem. All right, guys, so we are back here in the truck. We've changed the ABS sensor on the back. Now, I guess is the moment of truth if it's actually going to work or not. So let's start it up and see what happens. Well, guess what? Epic failure. Still no speedometer. So, well, the back brake didn't lock up, so I guess that's still a plus. Uh, that's one more thing off the bucket list. At least the part wasn't very expensive. I got it off of Rock Auto for like $18. So, I'm not sure if it's, if it's any better or any worse, but if nothing else, I got another new part on the Dodge truck. So, Hopefully uh, we'll get this thing figured out eventually. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you would. And we'll keep bringing you more videos like this on the Dodge Ram truck and working on some cheap hot rods. So hope to see you guys in the next video.